Let me show you how to build these different parts. I'm going to toggle back and forth between these two screens here from Onshape. So first, let's create a document. And let's call this one H. Let's call it H. And you can call them anything that you want. <clears throat> okay, so as I'm looking at this, I'm going to build this from the front view here. So it looks kind of like an H. So I'm going to go a front view and sketch. So I'm in sketch mode. I'm going to hit N, flatten it, P to remove the work points. Now let's take a look again. So it looks like I have, let's start with just uh, uh, this like little L shape here. So I'm going to do this, 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 and let's just go all the way down to here. Let's just connect it like that. <clears throat> now I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you a little shortcut here. So I'm going to build one half of this. So I'm going to actually let's use this. I'm going to bring out a you know, this piece here. Okay. And it looks like this piece here goes in a little bit. So I'm going to take my little scissors. I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to make a line going up here to here and then to here. Scissors. Okay, so now I have the rough shape. It looks pretty good. Again, we're not concerned about dimensions with these. I just want you to get used to building shapes and using the different commands. So now I'm going to use a mirror command. Watch this. Select a mirror line. So let's use this as the mirror line. Select entities to be mirrored. I'm going to drag across here. Looks like I missed that one and that one. So did you see how I did that? Let me do that again. I'm going to just undo. And mirror command. Select a mirror line. So we're mirroring about this line here, right? Select here and it says select entities to be mirrored. I could select them one at a time, right? Or select the whole thing just like that. Hit enter. And there it is. Now I'm going to cut away this line here. And sometimes it'll make actually lines over lines. So you have to clip, clip, and so forth. Okay, so there's my H. Now I'm going to accept it. I'm going to tilt it a little bit. I'm going to right click and extrude. Okay, so it looks like, yeah, maybe a little further. I don't like that. And there we go. <clears throat> yeah, it looks a little deep. So I'm going to double click on my extrusion over here. I'm going to back it up a little bit. There. Okay. That's looking pretty good. Now, <clears throat> these tops, to round off these tops, I'm going to select the side, right click, new sketch, and I'm going to zoom in. Okay, to do this, I'm going to use, I could use the spline command. This works pretty good. And down to here, double click after you're done. See that? Or I could just make straight lines and then curve the top. Let me show you how to do that. Straight line from here to here. And I'll just touch this to know exactly where to end up over here. Escape. Use this. And drag it down a little bit. And just something maybe like that. There. <clears throat> 
accept it. I click, extrude. I'm going to remove material. <clears throat> I'm going to drag this thing all the way through. Click OK. <clears throat> all right, it's looking pretty good. Let's see how we're doing here. Now, we need to add some holes here. Now, it looks like I didn't make these wide enough. <clears throat> so I just right click on this, and I'm going to use this command up here thicken. And I can tell it by how much I want to thicken it. I'm going to bring it out, let's say, 0.4. And I want to do the same on the other side. Thicken. Point four. All right, this is looking good. Now, these two corners. I'm just going to select this corner. I'm going to select the other corner. Now, what's cool in this program, I didn't have to hold the Shift key to select multiple um, edges or features or surfaces. I can just select without the Shift key which is kind of nice. The old program I used to use didn't allow me to do that. And then I hit this command here, the chamfer, and I want to bring it back maybe 0.4. Let's look. That looks pretty good. There we go. <clears throat> Next, I need a hole. New sketch. And circle. I'm going to go from the center of this edge here. Remember, if I just hover across there, see that? It'll show me. And then if I hover here, see the marching ants? And it intersects. I'm going to come out. Oh, I'm going to go about maybe 0 0.5. And I'll enter 0.5. Again, we're not too worried about the dimensions. I click, extrude, remove, and there we go. Now I do the same to this side here, New sketch, circle. Now I could go in and flatten this out, it makes it a little easier. So there's the center of that edge, there's a little marching ants, and I touch off on this edge there, boom. And bring it out, and we want it 0.5, there we go. Accept it, <clears throat> zoom in, right click, extrude, remove material through all, or as far as you want to go. Okay, we are almost done. And now, we have to put a hole here. Right click, new sketch, and I'm going to do the circle. I'm going to touch off right about there to make sure it's in the center. And it looks like, yeah, it looks like maybe up in here. Okay, looks good. Accept it. Right click. Extrude. I'm going to go through all, remove, and it shot right through both of those. Looks good. If it didn't, just drag it through and accept it. <clears throat> now, that hole looks like it could go down a little bit further than what it is. That's all right. I just go down here to that sketch, double click on it, and grab the little blue dot in the middle. I'm going to drag that hole down, accept it, it updates it, and there you go. That's our H part. I think I got everything. Yep, looks good.